this is my new muffler for the 3-4 truck here. This is my Flowmaster. This is their Flowmaster FX. Two and a quarter for the inlet and the outlet. Um, it's not directional, so you can put it any way you want. <laughs> you can see here the uh, logos in both directions. I got this off of Amazon <laughs> Flowmaster, part number 71415. You can see here, two and a quarter, two and a quarter, stainless steel, made in China. <laughs> this is what I'm going to go with. It's much more, it's like half the size of what I originally had. And it's much lighter. It's just, just much, it's a much more slimmer profile, which is what I like. And hopefully it's not as loud. I did a pre-fit where I just kind of slapped it onto the truck and turn on the truck and see what it sounds like. And it kind of, it kind of still sounds the same. It muffled the noise a little bit. But I think once I get this installed, it's still going to have a little nice rumble. Uh, which I don't mind, as long as, as long as it's not too loud during the idle. Because I'm trying to go for something really nice and quiet. But uh, if you guys are interested in this, I'll have a link in the description. Where you guys can check it out and get um, purchase one if you guys are into it. But so far, man, I really like it. I have always had good luck with Flowmaster. Good quality. Um, little nice wheels. All the wheels are super nice, super clean, super uh, good, good overall. And uh, those two pieces right there are 45 degrees. Those two are 45, and that's kind of come. That's gonna come off of the mid pipe that we built last time. It's gonna go into here, and then the tail pipe is gonna be this piece here. I'm gonna cut this piece to whatever length. And then just has a basic, just has a basic tailpipe in. So that's the plan. I test fitted the 245, and they're slightly at a weird angle. So I got some 290s coming in soon here. My wife, she's picking up, she's stopping at the parts store to get the 290s. So I'm gonna try the 290 degrees and see how those work. I did have the 290 degrees, but then those were from a different parts store, and they were much more of a curve. And I return those and then I'm going with these guys and these are not the perfect angle yet. So I'm going to get the 90 degrees for Napa, which is a different degree. It's 90 degree, but it's much shorter and a different profile look. So once those come in, I'll go ahead and show you guys the rest. But this should be a really fun install. Really nice and good quality. You guys can't really see it in there, but that's pretty nice, man. Flowmaster FX. I started the project. So these are the two uh, 90 degrees two and a quarter from Napa. These are much better versus the O'Reilly ones. Oh, still hot. That's the part number right there. Check out those wheels, man. These are much thicker metal. Both of them butt up into each other. So the wheels better. I got this uh, anti-splatter and I forgot to use it. <laughs> I forgot to use it on this piece, but I'll use it on the rest of it. But this is it right here. This connects to the mid pipe and then the, ex the muffler connects to the top of it. And then we'll go from there. So I'm just going to go ahead and pre-mount it. And then show you guys what it looks like. So this is the mid pipe. I showed you guys that on my past video. That goes to the cat. I'm not going to wheel right here. I'm going to put a clamp. Because it's going to be too difficult. If I ever want to remove in the future. So I'm going to put a clamp right here. And this is the piece that we welded. 90 degree goes up. And then this exhaust here fits perfectly. Right under the heat shield. And then from here on. We'll go ahead and build a tailpipe. It is at a slight angle. You can see right there. So I'm going to have to hold it up at this point and then uh, put in some tack wheels and bring it back out and fully water it back up. I'll try to go ahead and make sure the uh, make sure the logo is facing this way. If you want to, you can have that logo facing that way, whichever way you want. But that's the logo right there. So that's it right there, guys. Really nice. Two and a quarter. So you guys all know I'm just using a cheap Harbor Freight welder, 100 bucks or so. And man, check this out. This is the difference. This is without anti-splatter. And this is with anti-splatter. It's not even that much. All the splattering is not even that much. But look at the look at the wheels, man. The wheels are so much cleaner compared to the one over here. I'm not sure if I just got better or what, but man. The anti-splatter really helps out. Check out those wheels, man. That's way better than the wheels I did uh, on the cat converter and the mid pipe. But man, that's pretty nice. I got it all cleaned up with the brush. 
So from here on, I'm gonna put it on and then I'm gonna check and see what we need to do for the tailpipe. Cut that to length and then get that film for you guys. Pretty awesome. So this is the anti-splat that I'm using. This right here is from Napa. Enviro Splat for anti-splatter. Pretty good stuff. It just looks like foam. And uh, you can still wheel right over it when it's wet. You don't have to wait for it to dry according to the direction. So really neat stuff. I really like this setup. So we went with the 290s, the Flowmaster FX. And man, I'm really loving my wheels, man. Not to be bragging or not to be like an expert, but man, as an intermediate wielder, I love it. The fact that we're using a cheap Harbor Freight and this stuff here makes the biggest difference. Yeah, the wheels are nice. They're much more solid. So we have this one here, um, this pipe here. I'm not sure what the length is. And then we have these wheels here. So these were the 245 degree angle that I was going to use for the 90s over here. But instead, I decided to use these 45 and make them come out to the tailpipe. So it comes out to the original way. So it's going to come out right here. My original plan was just to make it a straight pipe and then just add that tailpipe to the end. But then I was like, man, let me see what else I can do with the 245. So I took the 245 and they, they happened to be the right size and with the right angles, you just move it around and I was able to make it curve out and then it comes out to the side. So this is what it looks like from the mid pipe, exhaust, and it curves out and it comes out right here. So really nice setup. I'm really, really pleased. I'm letting the welder cool for a bit. We've been welding for the last 10 minutes on these two right here. So letting it cool down and then I'm gonna go ahead and do these two guys right here and we'll be done. So these two pieces, they're at the right angle ready. It's been tacked in place. And man, I'm really loving this welder, man. I'm just having a really fun time right now welding right now, it's really fun. So we'll do a quick sound check once this thing's installed. All right, we are finished with the exhaust. <laughs> it's very uh, discreet, really nice. Check that out, man. Man, I like it. <sighs> very nice. I wish this angle right here would be a little, would have been up a little bit more, but it's good enough. Enough clearance. Check that out. Let's hear it, man. Let's do a first run. It's really nice, super sturdy. Man, it has a little nice rumble to it. I think this one's way louder than my other one. It's a cold start right now, so we'll let it get warm up and I'll, sh I'll show you guys what it sounds like, but I'll shut up for now. You always want to check for leaks. Just go around your wheels and see if there's any leaks. The truck is fully warmed up right now. It's idling around 900 to maybe 800 RPM. inside my vehicle right now you guys remember last time it was really loud you can barely hear it quick ammo shortage here in Anchorage Alaska it's up roughly about uh, 10 minutes till 9 but now with the muffler on so much better it's still a nice rumble but we're still a nice little deep tone <coughs> but it doesn't have that rah, 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 rah. It, has that, it doesn't have that flappy loud nasty noise so I like it I'll get you guys some uh, flyby pretty soon here Friday night here in Anchorage, Alaska. I finished my exhaust. I didn't have too much time to show you guys. So I'm not gonna do a flyby, maybe on another video, but for the most part, you guys all know how it sounds like. It sounds really good. I like it. I really, really like it. It doesn't sound annoying at all. Nice little rumble tone to it. 
but we're gonna wrap it up for this video and uh, the next video or something like that i'll show you guys more video of the noise if you guys want to see flybys if you guys want to see flybys let me know in the comment section if not i'm not going to show you guys it's not a big deal to be honest it's just a regular flow master exhaust nothing fancy but man listen look at this truck here this is my beautiful 1993 toyota pickup i'm selling it for one hundred thousand dollars queen if anybody wants to buy my truck give me a hundred thousand a hundred thousand queens a hundred thousand dollars queen and you guys can have this truck it's three four swap thanks for watching this vlog catch you guys next time